Okay, my name is Sarah Muckerhide. I am currently the laboratory coordinator for the Center for Underwater Science at Indiana University, and I am also a graduate student in anthropology. So my research right now is focused on a mid 16th century shipwreck, the Punta Espada site. And with this shipwreck, it is an incoming Spanish merchant vessel. So coming from Spain to a destination in the Americas, a destination which we're still working through archival and artifact research to uncover. But this shipwreck is on the east coast of the Dominican Republic. We're very excited with this site because we have permission to work on conservation of the artifacts. So currently we are working on several um, different types of metals in particular. We're working on iron artifacts like horseshoes, stirrups, and an ax head. We're also working to conserve pewter objects like plates and porringers, and we're working to conserve brass objects such as nested weight sets and all of those sorts of things that we're very excited about. So we're really excited in working with um, organizations such as Fundacion Capcana, which are actually working to promote marine conservation especially, but with our specialization in shipwrecks, we're also um, showing them how to create you know, culturally protected areas and areas that can protect the submerged cultural resources along with the biological resources. So long-term goals for this site, we're very excited to be continuing academic research for the next few years, so doing excavation. We're very excited that we have found a small section of ship timbers still intact in situ on the site, so we're very excited about documenting that and looking at early shipbuilding of the time period. This site really is very accessible. Um, it's only in 25 feet of water, so you know, beginner to intermediate scuba divers and even snorkelers can enjoy this site. So we're looking, once academic research is finished and all portable artifacts have been removed, we're really looking into turning this site into a living museum in the sea, whereas you know, people from the local community and tourists and other stakeholders can actually come and see this site as a 1550 shipwreck as it was, right? So we're leaving, you know, leaving those anchors, leaving those breach blocks, leaving other large artifacts um, such as, you know, barrels of nails and those sorts of things. So we're leaving those intact on the site so that people really can experience such a rare, unique shipwreck um, of that time period and actually see, you know, how it would have looked 470 years later. Um, so we're very excited about, you know, promoting this site as a park after academic research is done and really making sure that people can understand and know this early period of colonization and globalization, especially within the Dominican Republic and Hispaniola. Mm -hmm.